dun, 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 dun. What? What do you mean? We're taping? It's recording? Um, that's Frank over here, my executive producer, didn't let me know what was going on. Hey, Mr. War here, and yes, it's another math video, and woo, module four, lesson seven. My friend, you've had far too much caffeine. Relax, calm, calm. Have a green tea. No, that has caffeine. Hey, well, here we're in another math video, and it looks like we're looking at a completely new objective. Of course we are. And our objective is our purpose, our kind of our learning target. We're looking at multiplying any whole number by a fraction using tape diagrams. It sounds really exciting. I just love learning new math concepts. So let's go ahead and start with problem one, and let's just look at three-fifths. So basically, we have three-fifths of 35. Now, we've used two different models before. Remember, you may recall the counters and how we made arrays. And basically, what we're trying to find out is, what is three-fifths of 35? We could definitely, you know, we could definitely uh, draw a bar to represent our whole. But here, we know the whole is 35. So what we really need to do is we need to get ourselves a tape diagram. Yes, that's what I think we should do. And I'm going to bring that tape diagram here. And then we're going to go ahead and... Will pur purple show up? I hope so. Ooh, hardly. Ooh, I can hardly see that. Blue on blue. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a song. Anyway, we have 35. That's our whole, right? And then we're going to... What are we going to do? I don't know. Can you guys somehow telepathically tell me? Uh, oh, I see. You're telling me I need to... Oh, I see. Split it in fifths because of the denominator. Right on. That's exactly what I would do. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's one, here's two, here's three, and four, and five. Clearly an estimate here. And so we have fifths. Yes, I want him. Thank you. And we need to find three fifths. So what I'm going to do is that because I have my three sections of the five, if you know what I mean. But I don't know what that is. I mean, I know it's three fifths, but it doesn't tell me of 35, that is. So let's go ahead and do what we've done before. This looks so familiar. Yes, it does. Ooh, I love that yellow. Yes, five units is equal to uh, 35, because that's our whole. Therefore, and I love that transition word, therefore, one unit is equal to, right, I knew you knew, it's 35 divided by 5, because that's that 35 divided up into those five equal parts, which is such an easy division problem, because 7 times 5 is 35, so 35 divided by 5 must equal 7, if I know my times table. Now, how do we figure out, that's great for one unit, that lets us know that that's 7, but how are we going to figure out what 3 fifths of 35 is? Well, I don't know. If we have 3 units, and that's basically what we're looking at, 3 units would then would be 3 times 7. I know, that's what you guys are going to say. And so the answer is, ding, 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 21. Yes, 21. So 3 fifths of 35 equals or is, either the way, is, is, okay, is 21. Woo, that, my friends, was a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> I mean, didn't you guys have a lot of fun? I mean, come on, it's pretty cool. All right, and do, 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 all right. I don't know, Mr. Wara, you've had far too much coffee, okay? It's at Starbucks. Now, it says multiply any whole number by a fraction using tape. Okay, this is our still our objective. He just looks smaller, doesn't he? Oh, look at that, he shrank. You're shrinking. All right, it's okay. Now, here we have a lot of roses. Oh, I see. It goes with the problem. Very cool. Uh, my executive producer did that as well. Anyways, it says Giselle buys two dozen roses. Of these roses, three quarters are red and the rest are white. How many white roses did she buy? Hmm, okay. Well, first thing I want to try to see if I can put myself a little equation here. Maybe I'll get my red. Looking at that, I could, like I did before, it seems like three quarters are red. It's almost like we're asking like three quarters of, because this is the total. Now, two dozen, hmm, something important here. We have to know what a dozen is, okay? A dozen, well, there's 12. You probably knew that, right? There's 12 eggs in a dozen. So they tend to sell roses, I guess, in a dozen. So that's 12. So we kind of have like a, a two-step problem here because I don't want to put two dozen down. I want to know the actual number. That would be more help. So since one dozen has 12, 12 times two dozen equals 24. Now I can get my tape diagram, and I could also start getting this problem set up. Mega large. 
Come, come, don't be shy. There you go. I'm trying to find three quarters, it looks like, of the 24. Well, I'm going to go on my tape diagram and show 24. That becomes like my whole. And then, because I have fourths, it would make sense to divide that 24 into fourths. So I would have that. We're actually not trying to find one fourth, but we're trying to find three fourths. So this is what we don't know. Three of the four. We're trying to determine what that would be. And it does say that three quarters of them are red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get another color. I just feel like doing a lot of different colors today. Don't ask me why. So R for red. Get it? Okay. So R, R, R. R, R. Yep, this is it. Okay. And then that means right here, let's do green. Pretend he's white. Okay. Now, this is three quarters of red and the rest are white. How many white roses did she buy? Oh, well, we don't know how many red ones there are. And we don't know how many white ones there are. We really don't know anything at this point, do we? <laughs> okay. But this is what we're trying to find out, though, actually. I'm going to just erase that. I mean, that does have a quantity. But what we're trying to find out based on the problem, okay, is how many white roses did she buy? So I'm going to start off by saying, well, my four units is going to equal the 24, which we already established. Now I have one unit is going to equal, well, that's going to equal 24 divided by 4, which of course equals 6. All right, so we determined that in 1 fourth, there would be 6. Woo! It's a Jamie. Had 17 yards of fabric. She used one third of it to make a quilt. How many yards of fabric did Jamie use for the quilt? Wow, okay, Jamie's a little quilter, huh? Is that what you call it? Is that the little, ooh, look at it, it's a solar system. Very cool. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and choose black. I think black's going to show up nice on here. So first thing I want to think of to myself is that hole. We're always looking for that hole. It's like she has 17 yards. She's used one-third of it to make a quilt. How many yards of fabric did Jamie use for the quilt? Okay, so we know the one-third. It's like we're asking, what's one-third of 17? There we go. My little bracket shows the 17 yards. And then we're looking at the number of thirds. So it's one third. Probably want to divide that into thirds. Makes sense. Now, in this case, we really are trying to determine what the one third, because that's how much she used. So we really want that quantity right here. So then three units then would be equal to our, our 17. We're trying to figure out what one unit is. Well, one unit is equal to. 17 divided by 3. We can find that quantity by dividing. So if we did do, let's do that right here. So if we did 17, that's that whole divided by the 3. You can see that the 3, we could get into 17 five times. And basically that would mean we would have yeah, five groups of 3, whatever, 15. Okay, we subtract, we get 2 left over. So now our, pro our, our answer becomes 5. Ooh, that's sloppy. And two-thirds. All right? Or two-thirds. We'll put that there. All right? And we could check our work, too. We Remember, we did that before. We went back, and we could add uh, to see if we get back to our total for our three. Add five and two-thirds three times. But we're just going to accept that we got the correct answer here. We have here is basically, this is based on one unit. And this is all we need was this right here. Five and two-thirds. If we were to add that three times, we would get back to our 17. What if the question hadn't said one-third? What if it had said that Jamie indeed used two-thirds? That would obviously give us a different result. Well, if this is one-third, then what we could do then, we yeah, we could take five and two-thirds and just add one more five and two-thirds. Because if this is one-third, then that's like adding on one more third to find out what our new total will be. In this case, we have 10. And then you see we have four-thirds. And then, of course, four-thirds, we have a hole right in there, right? Because four-thirds would be the same as three-thirds, right? Plus one-third. So we'd end up with 11 and one-third. At least I hope my math is correct. And I think that would be true in this case. Now I'm going to go ahead and move to the last page. It's a teddy bear. Very cool. Yes, it's Alina. Oh, my goodness. She's spending some of her money to buy a teddy bear. Cool. Ooh, he looks really angry with his little eyebrows there, doesn't he? Okay, now, it says that Alina spent four-sevenths of her money on a teddy bear. If the teddy bear cost $24, how much money did she have 
at first. Ooh, this is really making us have to think backwards. Interesting. And it, the bear itself cost $24, right? So that much is established. Four sevens kind of lets you think that maybe, hmm, is that half? Hmm, four sevens is a little bit more than half. So she spent a little bit more than half. She's probably, I'm thinking like maybe right around $12 is just an estimate. So again, what is asking, she spent four sevenths of her money on a teddy bear. So I'm kind of curious what four sevenths would be of the $24 because that's basically what she spent. But it says how much money did she have at first? So we're actually trying to find out how much money she had from the beginning. So the bear cost $24. She spent four sevenths of her money on that bear. We need to find the three sevenths, right? That amount to add on. This is a pretty challenging problem. I think we need. Oh, can I borrow one of your eyebrows there, Mr. Teddy Bear? Thank you. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we're turning him into a tape diagram. I know. He's only got one now. So sorry, buddy. So sorry. And we need to get rid of you. So here's our little tape diagram. Now, this is kind of unusual because in this case, what we're basically saying is we're saying that we, we don't know what the total is. So when I do this, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what all the whole was to begin with. Because she spent $24 on a teddy bear, that wasn't all her money. So the whole, we don't know. And we do have sevenths. So we probably want to say two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze that last one in there. And... So what we're trying to determine, we do know one, two, three, four. So is that four right there? One, two, three, four, I think it is. So that's at least four sevenths, which is $24 that she spent on the teddy bear. So there's more money there that she had to start with because she didn't spend all of her money. It says she only spent four sevenths of it. So the question mark really is how much money did she have at first? And now our next step would be is, well, to break down to those units. We want to get it to our units to make it easy to solve. What I'm going to do here is maybe I can just write right on top of the teddy bear. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go right over here. So we have four units, and we know those four units is equal to 24. One unit is going to equal $24 divided by four. We're not going to do the seven because we're only looking at four of these units. So that means one unit is going to be equal to six. Do you see how I did that? Kind of sneaky. Because they have to, they're all they're all equal. It's a fraction. Now we have six. So seven seven units then is going to be equal to the seven and then times the six because we have six is good to go across here, giving us right forty two. So she had forty two dollars at the beginning. So that's how we determine that. Oh, I know some of you are still upset because of the whole eyebrow thing. Okay, look, I can probably help you out. All right, there you go. He gets it back. There you go. Anyway, I don't know. I just feel kind of like a, a song coming on. Yes? Okay. Yeah, Mr. Wara. Mr. Wara. Okay. Oh, he can't see now. Sorry about that. Now, it is that time to say it's been great having this time with you guys, but we do need to, like, end this video. So, as always, live long and prosper, my friends.